It might be April Fool's Day, and honestly, this might sound like a sick joke, but the Cumberland County Sheriff says this is no laughing matter. After literally years of no activity, the North Yarmouth Dirty Diaper Bandit is back. We are joined with Sheriff Kevin Joyce, and Sheriff Joyce, take me back to 2018 when you got the initial call about someone dumping soiled adult diapers along the side of the road. This is a bizarre case in that yeah. um, it, it doesn't happen. It's probably the first time I've seen it happen. Did you just say what whenever this happened? I, I said what and probably some <laughs> other things as well. I mean, uh, this is bizarre. I, I have yeah. no idea what the individual is trying to, to prove. Yeah. You know, is it a question of whether or not they can get rid of these soil diapers or is the individual trying to send a message to somebody? And when you got this initial tip, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's in the same generalized area, right? It is, all in the North Yarmouth area. And has it been year after year? That no, it started in 2018. For some reason in 2022, uh, we didn't get any reports. Yeah. So I don't know what happened in 2022 that caused that, but we're starting to see it pop up again. And, and quite frankly, um, you know, it's a quality of life issue. It's yeah. a crime, littering, uh, but we want to stop it um, if the individual is having a hard time getting rid of this stuff, then, you know, um, I encourage them to give the sheriff's office a call and we'll try to find a way that that individual or individuals can get rid of it. Ha have people given you a call about tips, maybe leading you anywhere for trying to find this diaper bandit? We've gotten some tips, but, uh, you know, nothing's really panned out. My guess is where there are adult diapers that it's an individual that's either taking care of a sick individual yeah. or or somebody that is incontinent. So again, you know, much like uh, needles, uh, this isn't something that is really difficult to get rid of yeah. in a dump or a landfill. Do you think it's the same person? Um, it's hard to tell. It's hard mm -hmm. to tell. You know, some people have uh, sent emails saying, hey, did you ever think of doing DNA? Well, DNA, you have to have a known person. It yeah. just doesn't pop up that it's individual A. So, you know, checking DNA for the soil diapers is not yeah. going to work out. How, how many diapers are we talking, Sheriff Joyce? Um, numerous. I, I don't have an exact Ugh. number, but, you know, again, it, um, it it seems like something that either somebody's doing as a prank yeah. or they just don't know how to get rid of them. And if that's the case, then if they give our office a call, we can help them find a way to get rid of them. Yeah. You know, if this continues as a prank, eventually we're going to end up catching the person and we're going to charge them with littering. So, yeah. you know, we want to uh, nip this in the bud. And it's been years in the making. Uh, hopefully it doesn't continue. Yeah, that would be a good thing yeah. um, because it is a quality of life issue for the people that live in the area. And how do uh, does your department even deal with cleanup of this? Well, we uh, we we'll either call public works okay. or somebody will clean it up. You know, the cleanup is is, again, it's difficult for the people yeah. that are doing it, but we, we shouldn't be having this issue now. There's ways of getting rid of it. There's legal ways of getting rid of it. And we want to be part of the solution. Yeah, and you've never set up cameras, right? Not um, yet? Well, we're, we're looking Working at a at? bunch of different okay. things that we possibly can. I mean, people have ring cameras now, so you know, if this individual thinks, that, or individuals yeah. think they're getting away with something, eventually they'll get caught. Well, thank you so much for putting this on our radar, and uh, hopefully if anyone has any tips, you can call the Sheriff's Department as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us thank tonight. Thank you for having me. Thanks. And we'll uh, send it back to you.